What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So I promised you guys we would get an S15 on the channel and uh, well we are getting an S15 on the channel. If you guys recognize this background at all it's because well I just got done filming a video here but we are going to be filming another video and we are waiting for my buddy Alex and his S15 to get here. Uh, it should be any minute. Hopefully. Woo! So guys, here you have it. We have a 2001 S15 Sylvia Spec S. So I'm here today with my friend uh, Alex. Come on in, Alex. Oh, Wait, social distancing, social distancing. <laughs> uh, so you guys want an S15 on the channel. Here's an S15. So Alex, you want to just uh, give us a brief rundown of what you have done to the car so far. Now, obviously, this is a build in progress, so keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, so, so far, uh, when I bought this car stock, it was Pretty much bone stock. Um, the only thing I did was brand new headlights. Uh, I did ISO. Yeah, those look good. Coils, um, Kanzai wheels, 18 by 9.5 plus 22s. Yeah, they look good. And the bronze and the white. Yeah. Uh, the bright seats, and that's pretty much it um, so far. Stock exhaust too. Stock exhaust. Wow, what a brave, what a brave soul. <laughs> the stock exhaust. I, you know, just don't want to cause too much attention, but oh, that's why I didn't hear you pulling in. <laughs> But, so um, that's pretty much it for now. Um, right now, I am in the looks for an SR long block, um, DET, mm -hmm. like an S14 or S15. I could find one, um, but then just having to swap in and have fun with it, and then yeah. be upgraded later down the road. Sweet. Before I bought the R33, which is uh, just parked over there, and uh, yeah, we have some company right there. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so I was looking to buy one of these, so um, it could have been, it could have been, you know, the next, the next car on the channel. I don't know. It is pretty sick. So this is non-turbo. Horsepower ratings is what on these like. 150, I don't yeah, know. Like 150, 170, I guess. Long 150, 170. It is a pretty light car. It, it's about. 26, 27? Yeah, 20, yeah, probably about 2,700 pounds. So it's a pretty light car. So obviously this isn't going to be the fastest rocket ship out there. Um, you know, it's not some big, crazy single turbo, you know, SR20 build or whatever, but it doesn't matter nonetheless. It's still an S15, it's still really cool. So I say we hop in this thing, which uh, it's pretty nice on the inside. We'll show you guys the whole inside later. We do have the nice bride seats. Well, are you, are you gonna do a big wing? Uh, no, I have, so at home I have the OEM side skirts, the valences, and the wing. Yeah. It's all at home. I'm just waiting on a buddy of mine to do, to drill the holes on the on the Oh, okay. Side. Yeah, because these look awesome with big wings yeah. on them. Yeah. They can pull yeah, the look so off really quick. The middle, the so nobody uh, thinks that you're driving around a Pontiac Grand Prix. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go for a drive, and uh, Alex is going to tell us kind of how it's different from driving an S15 to like an S13 or an S14 because everyone obviously thinks that the S15 is like the holy grail. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. To find out, uh, so let's go for a drive and uh, actually this is my first time riding in an S15 myself. I've sat in a couple. I drove one around a parking lot and then the guy had to go but this is, so this is, this is I'm excited. We were worried about uh, upsetting the cops but uh, yeah, not gonna happen. <laughs> These things are quiet from the factory posting with the GTR. We do have uh, our friends over there, the police. They've been watching us the whole time. I don't know why, we're not really doing anything, but you know. Oh, because you know there's gonna be a couple people saying, oh, you didn't pop the hood to show us what's under there. And I'm gonna say, all right, you wanted to see it. I mean, it's clean though. It's clean. Yeah. But yeah, so that's, uh, that's. hey, where, where's, the, where's the turbo? Uh, 
the, the There's back. a big hole right there, man. In the back door, it's a little bit too bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's rear mounted. All right, uh, let's go for a drive before we get booted by our uh, police officer friend. First time in an S15. Oh my god! Wait. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> oh, look at 350Z. Oh, shit, Flex hard on him. Oh. Yeah, that guy broke his neck. Yeah. That 350Z <laughs> owner was like, what? So, what are, what are, you had a 240 before this one. Yeah. Uh, S13, you said? Yes. S13. So, S13, S15. What are like the major differences minus like the right hand drive thing? Because we all know obviously that's like. I know. A huge difference, but they should be fairly similar, right? I mean, no, I mean, I guess for these cars, they're more comfortable. Their their interior is much more updated, so it feels yeah. much more modern. Yeah. Um, and when I had this S15, I had the stock seats. I mean, just it, it's just a lot more yeah. comfortable. These are like super, these are really nice. These are like fitly perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are super perfect. They haven't really like broken got yeah, broken in yet, so they're nice. Obviously it's not like the the turbo manual one which you know whatever we all know what a manual car is like and we all know what an SR20 is like so it's kind of it's easier to see what this is like if it were a turbo manual you're like I know what an SR20 feels like yeah it would be pretty fun so that's your plans for this car right just swap yes. it yeah I'm just gonna start it's a stock SR swap I'll you right here if you want to head back okay. uh, just stock SR swap uh, five speed manual and just just about it just have fun with it maybe do some upgrades while it's mm -hmm. out um maybe like a 2871 or just something like a mild like build that everybody does like yeah. the normal 550 injectors yeah 2871 r two and call it a day you plan on drifting this really uh <laughs> not really i mean yeah. i guess i can slide it here and there but for now i, I kind of want to enjoy it right you don't really want to wreck an s15 i don't know there's something about it yeah it's like Pitman issues. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Stance Nation. <laughs> As we're trying to. <laughs> but it looks good. That's all that matters. Yeah, exactly. I am going to be doing a second part of this video where I guess this man is brave enough to let me drive this thing. <laughs> Should I be scared? So, no, not really. But uh, so I will be doing a point of view video because you guys seem to love those. So um, I'll probably post it after this one. But if you want to check out that, there will be a point of view video. So. I say we do that. How many kilometers has it got? 156? Uh, so the, the, cluster, the cluster is not original from this car. No. Uh, I got it at 138. Mm -hmm. And then I swapped the cluster out because this one had like a aftermarket neon glow cluster. Yeah. Um, and I wanted everything. I'm an OEM plus guy. They, they read 158, so I was like, okay, I guess I have 158. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh man, all right. Time for me to drive this beast. The 150 horsepower, can you handle the it? The 150 horsepower. Door feels good, so it looks like the door handle, same from the GTR pretty much. All the buttons and stuff, same from the uh, GTR. <laughs> this is low key a GTR. Yeah. Back seat, small. Good luck fitting a car seat back there. Wow, <laughs> Sorry. Let's do this. So. Green light go. Multiple and can I pull you here? I think so. I uh, uh, can't uh, now. There's nobody on the road. Halfway across the street. Ah, <laughs> uh, the S15. You are really close to me. 
like it's small. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say like, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just it's, like it's much smaller. Wait, okay, I almost hit the wrong. I almost hit the wipers oh. again. We don't want to do that. It is like if you're a YouTuber though, it's way easier to film and drive when it's automatic. Well, there you go. <laughs> no, no, to self for everybody that's out there. Right. So this is what I look like doing the uh, point of view video that you guys just saw. So yeah, it's silly. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me uh, drive this thing. Anytime, man. Anytime. I hope I didn't scare you and break your neck. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Pure acceleration. <laughs> This thing looks, still looks really cool. How many times have you been in the uh, the passenger seat of your car? Three times. Three times? Three times yeah. Wow, the trust. So guys, that's the the S15 in, in its form, because I mean, I guess this is good because some people are looking to buy one of these and they're not buying the, the Spec R. Uh, I guess the, the price. -wise. They're buying the Spec S. Yeah, the Spec S. So. Um, Spec R's are a little bit more in weight and a lot more pricey. Yeah. That's what I, I'm guessing. So, I mean, if you get, I mean, this is kind of what you're expecting to get when you first get one. So, overall, I think we accomplished something today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, thank you for uh, coming out and letting me use your car for purposes. Anytime. Essential use for it. Essential use. That, we're essential use. Pointed. Yes, of course we are. So, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Throw this video a thumbs up for the S15. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Uh, what your thoughts and comments on it of the uh, the auto the auto <laughs> uh, that's gonna do it for this one guys thank you for watching and we will catch you all on the next video peace